everybody, Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. This is going to be very unpleasant cold weather for these boys to battle as we get ready for the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Arkansas Razorbacks. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. Here come the Razorbacks. The Crimson Tide are coming into this game looking very fired up. Kirk, what are your thoughts on today's game? Arkansas looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think you'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. Yo, Kirk, you stole my pick. Arkansas is ready for this one. Well, that's it for the pregame. Let's get down to the field so we can get this thing started. Kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number nine fields it at the 19. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. Tied. Go with the I formation. Drops back on first down. And he's going to come up with a sack. Yo, that's a bunch of yards to go. And as a player, you just got to know how far you need to go to make that first down. It's second and long. Ball on the 26. They're in the eye. Back to pass. He looks. He lets it go. Got it to his receiver. And down he goes at the 40. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit. But he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. Throws off balance. And it's caught. He's tackled at the 46. Now that is close. I wasn't sure where they were going to spot the football. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. He's under pressure. He gets sacked on the play. That's a bunch of yards to go. And as a player, you just got to know how far you need to go to make that first down. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 37. Alabama comes out with an eye formation. He's looking. He fires right side. And he couldn't hang on to it. Incomplete. Drop pass. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. In this long yard situation, you just got to go out there and perform your best. They'll line it up again on third down. Alabama sets up in the eye. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Number 14 passes. Good open field tackle. He made the catch, and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. As a coach, you got to do some different things to keep that defense guessing out there. They line up in a field goal formation. There is no way he can make this field goal. This will make it a field goal game. It's a fake. Looking, slips it short. It's complete. You know what? This is a good time to execute the plays you practiced all week. First down. Yeah. 
three wide outs here. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Over the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Wow. It's second down. The Crimson Tide line up in an eye formation. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Got it to his receiver. Brought down at the 26-yard line. So they go to the air and they pick up yet another first down. They've shown no problems moving the ball on this drive. This offense is moving the ball very well. And they're building some beautiful momentum along the way. The defense is in the nickel. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. And it's incomplete. Not much you can do there, Coach. Nope. Not much at all. It's not easy hanging on to the football when there's another guy coming at you. Those are going to be drops more times than not. I'd get the linebackers to bite on the run, and then I'd throw it downfield right here. It's second and ten. Ball on the 26. High formation here. Defense looking for his first incompletion. This drive wants to throw outside, and it falls incomplete. Uh, it's going to go down as a drop, my friend. Uh -uh. A very frustrating drop. I like the play call. I like the pass even more, but it really doesn't matter if the receiver can't bring it in. Alabama lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Here comes the pressure. The pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. I'd mix it up a little here. You don't want to be too predictable out there. Looks like they're going to put it away here. Number 11 is waiting for the snap. Number 11 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Calls for the fair catch. He dropped it. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And, Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. I'd spread out the offense and let my quarterback zip the ball in there. You only need a few more yards for a score. Alabama comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He throws it. It's it. That close to being intercepted. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end a drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. That brings up second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. The tie. Go with the eye formation. Fakes to the back. He looks. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. The quarterback mixed things up a bit and found the big guy for the score. This kid has worked very, very hard at his receiving skills, and I've seen a lot of improvement in him. You think I'd want you to go for two here? Uh-uh. No way. They line up for the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Alabama, seven, Arkansas, nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks off. Number five takes from the 10. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Today we got a very good tailback going up against a pretty weak linebacking core. Do you think the offense will be able to exploit that? You betcha they will. This running back is as good as they come. 
and I think he'll give this kid the ball, and he'll make a statement early today. I'm with you on that one, Scooter. This team does everything possible to get this kid the ball. If he has trouble running the ball, then they'll line him up in the slot and throw it to him. He creates mismatches all over the field, and I don't think this defense is good enough to keep him quiet today. Number five, alone in the backfield. Feeds it to the back. Makes a move. And they make the stop at the 33. Number five gets three yards on the carry. That'll bring up third down from their own 33-yard line. Third down, eight yards to go. Arkansas comes out with an eye formation. Throws it out there. Intercepted. Looks like the quarterback was rattled by that pressure. Well, let me tell you, the best ones will sit there and take a hit and make the throw. This kid's got to stand there if he wants those passes completed to his team. Not the other. The running game is what wins ball games. So give it to the back right here. The offense will take over at the 36-yard line. Setting up the play action. Incomplete pass. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. A team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. So I try to establish the run here. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36. The defense lines up in a dime. Play action. He's going to air it long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. The defense looked alive on that play. Yeah, coach. You did a great job of reading the play and beating the receiver to the ball. So that'll make it third down. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 36-yard line. Alabama sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. They can't connect. Incomplete. And that'll make it fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal from 53 yards away. Number 86 could make it a two-score game. It's up, looks long enough. And it's right down the middle. That was not an easy three points for this offense. Yeah, but this kicker sure made it look easy. What a leg this kid has. Hey, I give credit to any of these guys that can kick at 50 plus. That's just awesome. And this is the Pontiac game-changing performance from the game. Alabama is ready to kick it away. And this one's a short kick. Number five takes it to 15. Ben move. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. This drive will start at the 29. He looks to throw on first down. It's deflected. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. Listen up, my friend. Nowadays, linebackers need to be able to do more than just stop the run. They got to be able to fly all around the field and play the pass, too. Number five lines up in the deep back. I formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he couldn't go anywhere on that one. Now nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. Drops back to pass. And he's hammered as he lets it go. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. The Razorbacks are lining up to punt it away. 
Number 22 is back to receive. He gets it off. Number 22 takes it at the 33. And he gets just a little on the return. That time, the coverage was all over. Yeah, good downfield pursuit. I do some motion here and try to confuse the defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Look at the throw. He's looking. Slings it. Has it to the senior. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get over between the zone coverage. Alabama lines up with three receivers. First down, look at the throw. Looks, number 14, unload. And it's going the other way. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. They'll get the ball here at the 46. The Razorbacks come out showing three wide. Tackled for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. They line up at the 44. Second down, about 12 yards to go. The Razorbacks go with the I formation. And he hits them hard at the 40. <laughs> Kirk, it looks like this kid just spent the night out on the town. Well, he took a big hit there, Coach. I don't think he's got his equilibrium back yet. Passing situation here on third and long. The Razorbacks line up in an eye formation. Look out! Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. They line up to punt this one away. Number 22 is back deep to return. He gets it away. Back deep to return. Number 22 fields it at the 27. He just got shut down on the punt return. Yeah, in situations like that, Brad, it's probably best if you just call for a fair catch. I love the play action pass. You fake the handoff, get the defense to come up, and then bang! Over the top of the pass. Number 38 is a deep pass as they line up in the eye. Looks across the middle. And he pulls it down. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Boy, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, Coach? Hey, he's not careful. He's going to break his receiver's fingers. I take it to the ground on this one. You gotta be able to run to win ball games. First and ten. Number 38 lines up in the deep back. I formation. Number 14 slings it over the middle. He catches another one. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. You gotta go out there and compete. Be a competitor. First down, 10 to go. Number 38 lines up as a single back. Drops back on first down. He's looking across the middle. Incomplete pass. Number 81 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. In this situation, you've got to trust the quarterback's decision-making. It's second down and 10 to go. 
Ball on the 37. They're lining up in the 5-2. Back to pass. Throws down the middle. Bounces off the would-be tackler. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep. This offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. They line up at the 21. First down. Drops back to pass. Looks. He passes it. Finds a man again. Oh, man. He took him down hard. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Now, sometimes you have to. You've got to make sure the defense can't get to it, so you put a little extra zip on the throw, just like he did there. I'll tell you what. That ball looks like a missile with laces. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. They go with a run. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. What a run. He really looked explosive on his way to the end zone. He's one of those guys that look a lot faster with the ball in his hands. They line up for the point after. And he hits the PAT. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Alabama 17, Arkansas nothing. Alabama to kick, number five, and number 13 back to return. Kicks it off. Number 13 deals it at the 11. Number 13 loses the handle. And they fall on the loose ball. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. First and 10. Ball on the 33. Number 11 with three wide receivers. They'll knock him down for a loss. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. The Razorbacks line up with five receivers. On the ground, right side. And they'll bring him down behind the line. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. They line up at the 30. Third and 13 coming up. They'll work from the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He airs it out. This one is incomplete. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 50 awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Number 22 takes it to 36. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. I do some motion here and try to confuse the defense. They'll take over at the 38. Take over at the 38-yard line. First and 10. They line up in an eye. First down. Look at the throw. Looks. Number 14 with a bullet to the left. The senior makes the catch. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam. Shh, it's coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. I'd spread the ball around here. Keep that defense on their toes. It's first down. 39-yard line. Number 38 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Cut. 
Drops back to pass. He looks down the middle. Into traffic, and it's picked off. And they badly needed that interception. It's sure going to help. If they can march down the field and score, watch out. We might have a game here. They'll go to work at the 24. Number five lines up in the deep back, eye formation. He's tackled at the 25. A one yard gain on the play. Arkansas will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Tackle at the 27. Number five picks up two yards with a carry. It's third down and seven to go. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. Again with the run. And he's taken down at the 29. Alabama will take their first time out of the half. They line up to punt this one away. Number 50 is waiting for the snap. Number 22, back deep to return. He punts it. Signals for a fair catch. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Conserving the clock is important here. As a coach, you got to remind your players, use the sidelines. This drive will start at the 35. The time come out in the ace formation. Looks, rolls to the right. He's looking for his man. Into traffic, and it's picked off. He jukes him. So the defense just picked off their third pass of the day. These guys knew they had to make a statement today, Kirk, and I think this is their statement. Now they have played their tails off today, Coach. Everybody has been flying around this field making plays. They'll go to work at the 50. They'll take over at the 50-yard line. First and 10. They line up in an eye. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Here's the long ball. Left side. It falls incomplete. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. No, that, Kirk. He was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Razorbacks line up in an eye formation. Look at the throw. Across the middle. And this one's going to get intercepted. Tackle made at the 48. Not a good time for an interception, fellas. Now, Brad, you're exactly right. Your team's already down a few scores, and you throw a pick. Man, this could get ugly. And it's going to be a long day for these guys if they don't pick it up real soon. I mean real soon. Tell your quarterback to stand in there and make a play. They'll start the They'll set up shop at the 48-yard line. First and 10. 
Ace backfield. Play action. Number 14. Rifles at left. Got it to him on the run. Brought down at the 26-yard line. He made a nice play to keep his foot in bounds there, guys. I was surprised he was able to come down with that catch. Yeah, when the ball was thrown, I thought the only person who was going to have a shot at it was one of the onlookers on the sideline. But I really credit this guy for making a fine catch. Arkansas brings in their nickel package. Drops back on first down. He wants the long ball. Got him again. He hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. This for baseball, he's that cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. Just kick the extra point, sweetheart. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Alabama 24, Arkansas nothing. Alabama to kick this one off. Number five and number 13, deep to return. Kicks it away. Number 13, fields it at the nine. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You're getting excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Taking bait move. Arkansas takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 33. Ace backfield. He's looking to pass. And they got him. Number 97 makes the sack. The Crimson Tide call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. They line up at the 29. Third down. Arkansas comes out with an eye formation. This tackle, oh, what a move. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Alabama will use their final timeout. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 22 is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away. Number 22 builds it to 31. Nowhere to go there. Nowhere is right. He's lucky he got any yards on that return. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. This is what I would do, so how about it? The offense will take over at the 32-yard line. The Tide come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He lets it go. Got an opening. And they make the stop at the 42. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Drops back on first down. Looks. Number 14. With a bullet over the middle. 
And down he goes at the 35-yard line. This kid just continues to impress us with his ability to catch the football. He's already gone over 100 yards here in the first half. Do you would ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. adjustments definitely needed in this one. Our score, Alabama 24, Arkansas nothing. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Number five, back to return. He sends it off. Number five, fields it at the nine. He shoots. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. He's hit and got away. Look at the strength. Here's an opening across midfield at the 40 at the 30 to the 20 to the 10 touchdown arkansas the halfback got the call and was able to carry it to pater yeah it looks smooth out there he's one of those guys they can count on The offense is going to go for two. Alabama will call a timeout. They'll go for two in this situation. Five DVs on the field. They don't get it. They went for two, but they're stopped short. The defense just rolled up their sleeves and went in there and stopped them when they had to. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends it downfield. Number 22 takes it at the 20. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. From their own 28-yard line. First down. The Crimson Tide go with the eye formation. Under pressure. They brought him down for the sack at the 23. Number 14 is walking off the field now. And the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending one. They line up at the 23. It's second down, 15 to go. From the gun, he drops back. He steps up, number 17, with a bolt. And that one's incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk. But when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. That'll bring up third down. The defense lines up with six DBs. Drops back to pass. Looks. Number 17. Unload. And he's all the way down to the 47. Good pickup for the first down. Hey, hey, Kirk, forget about the first down. How about that big chunk of yards they just picked up on that play? Yep, it definitely put them in better field position. I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. In this situation, I want my quarterback to be comfortable enough with the offense to be able to audible out of the play we call. play action looking he passes it 
and they couldn't hook up on that one. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something you have to work very hard to be able to overcome. They line up at the 47. Second down and 10 to go. The Tide line up in an I formation. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Number 22 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it third down. When you've got a bunch of yards to gain, your players might be a little excited. I'd calm them down right here. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back. Look, he delivers. He snags it. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great-looking pass to move the sticks on third down. Everyone should know this one. Now go make it happen. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. You got to take what the defense gives you here. Second down, seven yards to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Tide line up with a single set backfield. There's the play fake. Rolling out to the left side. Let's it go. And this one falls incomplete. That's what a good pass rush can do for him. Yep, they got in the quarterback's face and made it tough on him to throw a good pass. For this play to work, everybody has got to do their job. You got to have the blockers blocking, the receivers running good routes, and the quarterback making the right reads. The defense comes out in the dime package. Gets the ball. On the fake. He gets sacked on the play. That was the sixth sack of the ball game for this defense. Let me say one thing. This defense is good. I mean. Real good. They sure are, Coach. They're blitzing, they're stunning, they're confusing this quarterback to death. In this situation, I want my quarterback to be comfortable enough with the offense to be able to audible out of the play we call. Number eight, back deep to return. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Calls for the fair catch. And he muffed it. You let that one get away from him. And Brad, anytime a player muffs a return like that, it sticks around in the back of his mind. You need to just forget about it and move on. And they've got their work cut out for him on this drive. Arkansas will line up in a jumbo set here. Here's the halfback. Makes him all. And down he goes at the five-yard line. Number five gains about four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's second and six. Ball on the five. I doubt they'll take any chances here. They hand it off. And he's tackled at the seven. Two-yard carry by the fullback. It's third down. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Juke move. He's tackled at the 12-yard line. That line came off the ball and just kept their feet moving and knocked them back. Good blocks and great running by the ball carrier also. It's first down. Arkansas goes with the ace set here. And they get the sack. Second. 
Second down. Arkansas comes to the line with three wide. Looks to pass. He throws. Has it to the senior. That's a loss of about three. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Arkansas lines up in a goal line set. He'll get the goal again. Brought down at the four yard line. Just a yard there. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 22 is the deep man awaiting the return. Punts the ball away. Number 22 takes it at the 43. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. Well, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. It's just a matter of pitch and catch. So go get it done. First and 10. Ball on the 41. First and 10. Play action. Looks. Zips it over the middle. Caught! What a catch! The wideout comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. Red zone play is crucial to winning and losing. As a coach, I'm concerned about not turning the ball over here because that means taking points off the board. Ace backfield. They'll throw on first down. He looks. Fires to the end zone. Incomplete pass. Too tall for his intended target, and that should have been six. Yep, he had his man wide open, but his arm didn't do what his brain told him to do. They line up at the 12. Second down. They come out with three wide receivers. Bates to the back. Looking. He's rolling right. Number 17. Guns it right side. He came down. Touchdown and a nice connection for the score, coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. All you need is one. Send out the kick team. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. And he converts the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Alabama 31, Arkansas 6. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Number 5 and number 13 back deep to return. Kicks it away. Number 5 takes it at the 4. He shoots it. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. The Razorbacks go with the eye formation. Kids attack. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. No game on the play. Second and 10. Ball on their own 27. Arkansas comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Again with a carry. Can't wrap 
him up. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. Number five picks up a yard on the play. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, Alabama 31, Arkansas 6. They line up at the 28. It's third and nine. Number 11 with three wide receivers. Look out! This one is batted away. Not a lot of success for this offense on this drive, Coach. The defense did exactly what they had to do, and that stopped them for three and out. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 50 is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Oh, what a hit. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. A good running game will do wonders for your football team. It allows you to set the tempo of the game and gives your defense time to rest on the sidelines. Sets up play action. He rolls left, wants to throw outside, and he brings it down. And down he goes at the 49. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. We've got a first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Setting up the play action. He's sacked at the 47-yard line. As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. They line up at the 47. So it's second and 14. Ace backfield. Drops back to pass. Hooking. Number 17. Throws it out there. And that one's fallen incomplete. That would have been a tough catch for the wide receivers. Yo, that's a bunch of yards ago. And as a player, you just got to know how far you need to go to make that first down. The tide come out showing three wide. He drops back, looks, got hit as he threw, and he's got him again. They'll bring him down at the 40. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 35 is back to receive. He punts. No, he won't. The putter throws it. This one is incomplete. Nobody was biting on that one. They were all over it, Kirk. That shows how well coached these guys are, and they did their work in watching the film. They knew there was a chance they'd go for it in that situation, and when they did, it didn't go anywhere. First and ten. The Razorbacks line up with a single set backfield. Pressure. It's second down and a long ways to go. The Razorbacks come out in the ace formation. He's looking to pass. Brought down at 
the 25. Makes the sack. Loss of six on the play. Third down. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Razorbacks come out in a shotgun. Here they come. And they get the sack. It came with the pressure that time. That was a relentless blitz by the defense. I think there were more rushers than blockers coming at that time. Yep. The quarterback didn't have any time to find the open man. Arkansas lining up the punt. Number 50 awaits the snap. He gets it away. Number 22 fields it at the 37. He retreats. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? You ask, so I'm telling you, run this play. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. First down, look at the throw. He's looking. He guns it. And it's incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. Too much heat. Completing the pass is more important than throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. That's true. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. He rolls out to the left. Number 17 fires it left. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. You gotta play it safe here and keep running the football. They line up in an eye. Drops back to pass. He throws it. Incomplete. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here the quarterback just overshot. Nice play fake. Rolls right. Number 17. Slings it. Great coverage and it's intercepted. And that interception might be what they needed to get back in this ball game. Nice try, Brad. Keep their hopes up, but I don't think they have a chance of winning this. They're too far down to catch up. The offense will start at the six. The Razorbacks with four receivers. Tackle made at the Number seven. Five, Maybe got the two feet on the play. Gain on the play. Right. We've got second and nine here. Ball on the seven. The Razorbacks go with the I formation. Toss. He tackles him for a loss. That blitz was coming pretty hard that time, Kirk. There was just nowhere for the running back to go. Great penetration by this defense. Third down. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. He's got to throw it in a hurry. We got a safety. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Alabama 33, Arkansas 6. Now they'll have
have to punt the ball here for the free kick. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. Alabama comes out with two tight ends. Bates to the back. Throws it out there. And that one's fallen incomplete. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. Alabama will line up in a jumbo set here on play action. Throws it to the outside. And it's caught. Tackle at the 47. But hold on. We got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. On the offense. 10 yard penalty. Still These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. The Tide line up in an eye formation. Looks to pass. He looks, throws it, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, they're still throwing, but I couldn't tell you why. Hey, if you're going to throw a pass at this point in the game, then at least complete it so the clock keeps running. They shouldn't be passing the ball, period, Scooter. Alabama sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. Looks. Number 17 with a bullet. They can't connect. Incomplete. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what. This defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. A minute to go in the ball game. Number 13 is the deep man awaiting the return. Number 11 punts it. And this is a wonderful kick. Number 13 fields it at the 27. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. High formation here. Little handoff. He's taken down at the 31. Arkansas just took their first time out. They line up at the 31. Second down and six. Arkansas lines up in a shotgun set. He'll get through the hole again. They'll bring him down at the 33. The offense calls a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. It's third down. And he's going to come up with a sack. There's his third sack of this game. This guy's got a great motor out there. He's always working his way to the quarterback, looking for the sack. Fourth and nine. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Number 50 is waiting for the snap. He punts it. The ball came free, and the defense is on it. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Just take a knee so you can win and go home. The game is over. Just sit on it. They'll this drive will start at the 39. First and 10. Alabama is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. They line up the 37. It's second down. Number 38 alone in the backfield. Tackled 
for a loss. And this ball game's over. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Alabama looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. So that concludes another game of NCAA Football 2008. Our final score here today, Alabama 33, Arkansas 6. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.